Welcome back Guardians, my name is Atheon. In this video we will be doing a guide for the War Priest boss in the Taken King King's Fall Raid. So I'm going to show you the mechanics of this fight. You start the fight off initially by people standing on the three platforms. There is one on the low right, the centre in the bottom floor and on the far top left. Once everyone stands on these platforms together, you're going to need one person on each platform. The War Priest will come out. He does have immunity from damage. The way you take down this immunity is by killing the adds. Once you kill the adds, then you get the knights come. Now, you need to take out the knights as quickly as possible. This will start the glyph sequence. Now, the sequence can be a bit varying, but if you stand at the back wall there, which you can see on the right, as you can see, Garvey UK is standing there. He can actually see the sequence on the back of the glyphs and tell people where to stand. When it's red, get off, that's wrong. Now, I've locked in the centre. Right is the next one. Someone will go up to right, lock it in. They will now have the buff which allows us to damage the War Priest. The best way to damage the War Priest is with sniper rifle headshots, a good rocket launcher if you've got one, and also fire hammers from a Titan really do a lot of damage. If you can get a void bow on him to lock him in place and up the damage, then do that. But as you can see, we are hitting a lot of damage there. When the void bow was on, it was upwards of 13,000. Without the bow, though, with a critical, as you can see, I'm hitting close to 10, 9,500 every time. Now, there is a way to extend the aura to keep the damage buff going for longer. I have the buff in the third sequence. This is the second sequence that you're seeing now. When I have the buff in the third sequence, watch that will show you how to extend the sequence and keep the damage going for as long as possible. Now, once this bit starts, you will be killed if you're in the light. You need to hide behind the glyphs in the shadow. That way it will destroy the glyph and you won't get killed. Once you've destroyed two, Taken enemies will spawn in. Now the Taken enemies, sometimes it can take a little longer to kill than Knights can because they are a bit stronger. But if you know where they are and where they're going to spawn, it's quite easy to take them out. Now, if you can, we found the best way to do this is to get the top left gone first. The top left is the hardest for your team to get to. Obviously your team can only damage the war priest when everyone is inside of the buff. If you're not inside of the buff you aren't going to be damaging him. So with that we figured go to the top, get that one. It's the hardest to get to. Get that out of the way first and we have the rest of the sequences to get him. Now we get him in down, dead, gone in three sequences. He gets close to enrage on a fourth sequence but if you can get the glyph pattern locked in you can then stop the enrage and have one more turn attacking him so you have four potential chances so you want to be taking off at least a quarter of his health each time now when you know the knights are spawning in you can do what i do i know the one spawns top left here i've come up i'm taking him out with scout rifle ammo this way i'm saving my sniper ammo for the boss as you saw i jumped up onto the ledge a moment ago it's a great place to pick up secondary ammo from if you need it for the fight and that's all you really need to do. Get that void bow on him if you have a Titan throw Titan hammers. If not, keep hitting him with your secondary, your sniper, your primary. As long as you're hitting him in the head and causing the damage, it all goes well. So we now have a glyph sequence. The glyph sequence is currently going wrong at this moment in time. But once the totems are actually gone and down, you can sometimes see a burning light in the sky telling you which one needs to be gotten. Now I have the buff on me at the moment as you can see the buff is counting down if i get a kill that then extends the timer now the timer is currently on five seconds i want to wait as long as possible to get that kill to extend the timer because you can only extend the timer a certain amount of times if you feel confident like i did you can then damage the boss in between getting your kills on the ads to extend the timer that's the only way so make sure your teammates aren't killing the ads as you can see there i had one second to go when I took down the last ad. I weakened the one there, didn't need to. But that is how you beat the War Priest. It's very straightforward. Hopefully this video has helped you guys out and can get you through this section of the raid. If it has, feel free to leave a like and don't forget to subscribe for more daily Destiny videos and more raid guide videos. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you tomorrow with a brand new video.